started. All right, now to install the ring module into the Magic Mirror, this assumes that you both have a ring account and um, I've already installed the Magic Mirror software. So to start, we're gonna go to magicmirror.builders and then modules. Once we're there, we're gonna control F and search for MMM-ring. Here we are, click on that. Um, and then scroll down until you see the installation instructions. Uh, I'm gonna minimize this and connect to the smart mirror so we can see both. Uh, here we go, let's put these next to each other. All right, once you have these open, we're gonna open up a terminal and we're gonna first run this line of code which will install some dependencies for the software. Um, after that is done, which should take a few seconds, we're gonna um, navigate to this folder using CD space and then that code. Um, and then once you're in that folder, we're gonna copy this and this will um, clone the repository that we were just looking at. Um, finally, we're going to go to the MMM ring folder that it created and hit NPN install. This should take uh, maybe a few minutes to do, um, so just hold tight for the time being. Okay, once that's done, we can close out of this. Um, next, we just have to get a refresh token to actually connect to our account. To get a refresh token, we're gonna scroll down to here. Um, we need this, so click on this link. Um, this will bring you to a set of instructions. Navigate to this folder, so let's actually go back in here and copy this. And again, do CD. Whoop. CD space this, enter. Uh, once we're here, we're gonna run this line of code here, copy, paste, enter. And after entering your information, you should be able to see a refresh token in the output. Uh, so let's let this do its thing. It will actually prompt you for some information. Okay, so first I'll ask you to enter your email address, which is associated with your ring account, which I'll do now. Hit enter. And then it'll ask you for your password for that account. And then finally, it'll send you a uh, ring verification code, uh, either to your phone or email, whatever you have it set up for, and you're gonna enter that code. Okay, so now it says successfully logged into ring. Please add the following to your config file. So this is your refresh token right here. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this. Um, and we're going to go to our config file. So uh, magic mirror, config, config.js, open this up. And we're going to come down here, copy this. Uh, I'm just going to add it in under this one here. Just find wherever there's a close bracket, comma, that's the end of a module, and paste it in there. Take um, the text out of here and replace it with our code. It's gonna be a pretty long code, so it'll, we'll have to zoom back over here. And that's pretty much it, just to get it ready. Um, Control S to save it, or just save it. And if you had Magic Mirror started, you just have to restart it. So, CD Magic Mirror, and NPN Start. And this will start up the display. Okay, so I have my ring camera here just because it's easier to test it while I'm in the office. And I'm just gonna hit the button, and it's dead. So let's try restarting it again, and pressing the button. There it is, cool. All right, so it's a little bit delayed, um, which is fine, I guess. Um, obviously, there's always gonna be some latency with this type of module, but um, it's pretty cool that it works. Now we can, I mean, we can push it, position it anywhere you want, um, and you can actually also resize it. And I think on default it lasts for 30 seconds, which I'm probably gonna bring down to maybe 15 seconds, just because it seems a little bit long. Um, but it's still a really cool module to be able to use. And then obviously when it's done sensing motion, uh, it'll go away, which you just gotta wait, I don't know, 30 seconds. We'll watch the timer in the corner there. Okay, in there, see it goes away, and now there's nothing on the screen. Um, now, some of the things you can add, if we go back to the repository here, um, down, uh, where is it? Oh, we gotta go back to MMM ring. All right, so right here are the things you can add. So basically, the refresh token is required. That's really the only thing you need, and it'll work just as I showed you. 
Um, again, this will give you the option to determine how long it's going to be streamed once um, an event is triggered. Um, this you can actually change the width of the video display and on default it's 600 pixels which I think is more than enough. And then finally string ring stream motion which um, you can have it triggered just when motion is triggered um, which it looks like you can only do once every 65 seconds or um, only when the doorbell is pressed. It, on default it's set to false fault so it'll only come up when the doorbell is pressed um, but if you set it to true it'll always come up when it senses motion. Um, only once within 65 seconds of course. So that's pretty much it. Um, if I did want to change this, so I'm going to copy this, go back to my mirror, do, 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 control Q to quit, go back to config file. Oh, actually it's up here. Uh, you're going to have to go to the end of the line here, put a comma, just put a comma. You can't really see it. Um, hit enter, tab, 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 tab. We're going to paste. Okay, and then do call in 0 0.5. Let's just do like 0 0.1 just for testing. Actually, it's a, that's a string. We don't want a string. We just want to do 0 0.1. File, save. Let's try it again. Okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, see, so it was really quick. That was 0 0.1 minutes or something. Okay, so that worked anyways. If I do 0 0.5, let's try that. Yeah, I think that was perfect amount of time. All right, well, that's going to be it for the video. If you did find this module useful to you, uh, please feel free to give me a like as it gives me feedback on which modules people are actually using. If you have a module you're using or are looking to use that would be very useful to you, definitely leave that in the comments for me to see. And if you want to view some more of my content, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe if you would like to as well.